Greetings dear viewers, welcome. Today's poem is Vishy Born and the Team. This is a poem about the team that helped Vishwanathan Anand to win the 2008 World Championship match against Vladimir Kramnik. Whenever we are considering individual sports, we usually assume that there is one player who goes out there and performs on his own. But it is not necessarily that. There is a team that works extremely hard to ensure that the player who is going out there to perform, performs the way he is actually performing. And this is a poem kind of tribute to the team members who helped Vishwanathan Anand to win the 2008 World Championship match. The other important thing that one needs to consider is the player chooses the team. So it is left to the player to choose a, a team which can actually function the way he or she actually wants. And Vishwanathan Anand was a master at this. He had chosen an extremely good team, combination of various qualities, which I am going to talk about. And this helped him to ensure that he won the world championship match against Vladimir Kramnik. Let me get into the name of the players who were in Anand's team. First, there was Peter Heine Nielsen, Danish Grand Master, whom Anand was well acquainted with and Peter Heine Nielsen helped Anand uh, to win the World Championship match. And to tell you about how great of a um, team member Peter Heine Nielsen is, later on he went to uh, Carlsen team and he aided Carlsen also to win World Championship match, which gives an indication of how strong he was when he was in a player's team. That was Peter Heine Nielsen. Then there was Radislav Wojciechek. This is an interesting story in a way that Wojciechek got the invitation to be a part of Anand's team when he was just 21 years old. Anand had played Wojciechek uh, just uh, before uh, some duration uh, before the World Championship match and he was very impressed by the way Wojciechek played and he was impressed by the ideas that he had brought out in the opening and that is why Anand just proposed um, uh, Wojciechek to be a part of his World Championship team and Wojciechek accepted it immediately and the reason it's because Anand was his idol and Wojciechek was extremely pleased to be a part of Vishy Anand's team. Then there was Surya Shrekar Ganguly, who was considered as an opening expert and he had helped Anand before also in some tournaments uh, by giving some important opening ideas and helping Anand and Anand was very impressed by the work of Surya Ganguly and that is the reason even Surya Shrekar Ganguly was also invited to be a part of the team. The team had basically everything. They had the young Wojciechek, the experienced Peter Heine Nielsen, there was an Indian um, uh, Surya Shekhar Ganguly, but there was one element which was missing, and that was a world champion. Anand felt that the experience of a world champion who had the experience of playing at such circumstance would definitely help. It, not that Anand was uh, not the world championship before, uh, not the world champion before. This was not his first world championship. He had won the world uh, championship before, but he felt that that can actually add a value if there was someone who can understand what all goes with the world championship match. It would be better, and that is why Rustam Kasim Zano was invited to be a part of the team. Rustam Kasim Zano was also a world champion. He was a FIDE world champion, and Anand felt that he could add some value through his creativity and he was famous for his very creative chess and he was working extremely hard and later on uh, it was revealed that uh, the, the, all the team members not just Rustam all the team members worked extensively hard to ensure that Anand clinched the title in Bonn. This is a poem about all of these players and how they helped Anand to win the title and lastly uh, before we get into the poem want to talk about the minor switch that Anand made in terms of tactics for this particular match. Anand used to play one e4 but for this match considering how strong Kramnik was against one e4 he just told the team that he would make a switch to one d4. Different move and anyone who plays chess knows that it is not easy to just change your repertoire and let alone doing it in a world championship match. Anand took the courage, asked his team to help, they prepared very well and finally Anand won the championship and the risk that he took did actually pay off. I'm not going to go into details of the scores and uh, how, what happened in the match that I'm going to do in a, a different poem but right now let us get into the poem and see 
about Vishy Anand's team football. Vishy had set his eyes on the crown to battle it out in Bonn. To get past a lion like Vlad, the tiger had to be prepared. Peter Hanna Nielsen, the Danish giant whom Anand found to be reliant, was one of the core members of the team to aid Vishy's world championship dream. The young and shy Wojciechek got an important break. Vishy's generous invitation was too much of a temptation. Agreeing to aid his idol for the match preparation was an overwhelming sensation. Surya Shekhar Ganguly was called upon, expected to throw light upon the huge opening ideas that he possessed and the dynamic positions that had to be assessed. The world champions team needed a champion and therefore Rustam was called upon to showcase his vast knowledge of creative chess and aid in handling the tournament's stress. Vishy, who had not extensively played before, the opening move won D4 was the assignment for the team to work on with a quest to conquer Bonn. The full poem along with the explanation is available in the description. Thanks for your attention.